Hey everyone, Matt Saletti with DubSpot back again talking about the Machine 1.8 update. And specifically today we're going to talk about time stretching. So the time stretching feature is one of those features that people have been asking for basically since day one. It's nice to have it all built in and it works very well. It's very straightforward how it works so we don't have to go in too in depth. But we'll talk about why you might use it and how you might use it and maybe some history. So since we have viewers who are brand new to this but we also have advanced users, I'm just going to kind of start off slow. The whole idea is when we talk about sampling, before time stretching and pitch correction and all this, say you had a record, right? And I wanted to sample a drum loop or something off the record. You would play the record, it would play at its inherent BPM and its pitch, and if you wanted to affect it, you basically had the option to speed it up or slow it down using the pitch slider, right? And so if you speed it up, it's going to go faster, but it's also going to raise the pitch. So for instance, let's look at a classic sample. Chaka Khan's Through the Fire. Now this was made uh, popular again when Kanye West sampled it. And so this will show you before we had time stretching, something you could do to affect it. So for instance, like I was talking about, you could come in with the record. <laughs> that's not going to work most times, right? So if you wanted to resample this and actually make it not so much like a ballad, because what is this? That might put the place to sleep. It's a little slow. It's great, but it's a little slow. So what people would do is, for instance, you might just play it higher up on your keyboard is it just me or that sounds like some kind of super mario power up i might have to use that later so you could play it higher play it higher on your sampler using a different key and it'll tune it up otherwise you could always just manually tune to whatever you wanted Now we're at a much nicer 83 or so. That works better. And that's how it worked in the song. Now, obviously her her voice is raised a little, little chipmunky maybe or whatnot, but, you know, before time stretching, this is kind of how you had to work. You had to kind of work with what the sample gave you. So... Let's take a look at time stretching now. If we go in and say, here's an acoustic guitar sample from the band Clutch. nice but maybe it's a little slow so if you wanted to actually tune something up what are you gonna, what are you left to do maybe make it a little faster but then that adjusts the tune and I don't want that so what we're gonna do is time stretch it because maybe I want to play acoustic guitar on top of that later and I don't want to have it all pitched or anything like that so if we come to the sampling edit this is where you'll find your stretch options you can also find it from the GUI on the software right down here once you're in edit mode, stretch. So what I can do now is hit settings and it'll give you all the options you need. If you wanted to pitch it up, you could actually pitch it even further. We'll try that later maybe. Um, but it'll basically show you the original BPM and then here's the BPM. So it's about 83, 84 BPM originally. And I'm working at 106 or 107. That's how I want to do it. So what we can do is instantly just hit stretch and it will time stretch it. The other options you have here, and you can see this from the controller or from the software, beat mode or free mode. If you do free mode, it's basically going to just adjust the natural tempo down a percentage. So we want to take it like 80% down from original. But most of the time, I think you'd be using just beat mode and you'd be locking it into the new tempo. So the reason it knows the new BPM is going to be 106, 8.4.3 or whatever, 
It's because when I tapped it out, this is what the tempo of the session is at. So let's hit stretch. And it stretches it instantly. <laughs> I like it better. That's where I might start writing the song, right? So the other great thing is I didn't adjust. I can now play it because the pitch is normal. I can play it with my acoustic guitar and play along and not have to, you know, worry about pitching that crazy or something later. So if we have this going now at this speed, we can start to add other loops and just time stretch those. There's the classic levy breaks. So 72 BPM it comes in at. We're working at 106.8. Let's just hit stretch. And there we go. We can actually start tweaking it like that. Now, another reason you might use time stretching is if you're doing remixing. So let's go ahead and say, you know what, someone sent me this interesting sound. You know, I get stems from an artist and I, I'm, I'm gonna turn it into something else. So, someone gave me this sound. And I knew originally they recorded at 70, 70 BPM, that's what they told me. But I had an idea of let's turn it into a little kind of like a dancey, minimal something or other, right? So, I had this pattern already recorded, right? And I know I wanted it at 128. Let's just go ahead and type 128. Because I'm going to re-envision this song, remix it as something new, right? So again, what we can do is instantly just come into our settings and stretch it immediately. Maybe it doesn't sound good though at this tempo, and so I want to actually, you know, pitch it up a little bit. We can even go pitching it, pitching it down, I mean, crazy, 36. Let's just do like a simple three up. And we will just go ahead and hit stretch now. So again, when remixing, Time stretch is almost essential because you can kind of re-envision the song however you liked in whatever way just by you going in and putting things at the tempo you want. Very helpful. Now, if we were doing some weirdo sound design, let's hit undo. Maybe you want to come in and just do like a, uh, a free and then, oh, let's just get crazy. and Let's tune it way up to 12. Like, so we'll tune it up an octave, but decrease it by 42% see what happens that might be something interesting you can use later obviously if once it's like that you can that sounds like some interesting chip tune or something so don't be afraid to kind of mess around with the settings it doesn't always have to be perfectly adjusting tempos now lastly, let's look at like manipulating something to a new tempo. So trap music seems to be quite popular these days. So I'll, I just threw together a quick little trap beat. Let's mute this out. Now say if we want to sample our voice. So oftentimes in trap music, you'll hear like a, <laughs> a detuned voice, but it's how is it in time? Because I have a deep voice, but if I talk like this, you know, it's going to be hard to rap in time. Um, so what you might do is actually come in and sample something. So let's go sample. Let's select external. You can see my mic pinging right now. And what I'm going to do is just talk in time like I would be doing maybe a rap for a, a trap song or something. So we're going to go ahead and sync it two bars. I'll hit start. And we'll go like this. Here's an example of how we're going to pitch shift. Pretty lame, right? Pretty lame. Here's an example of how we're going to pitch shift. <laughs> Terrible. So if I play along, 
here's 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 an example of how we're gonna pitch shift so oftentimes you'll hear them they'll do like a rap and then they'll actually tune it down and but if I was just to go ahead and uh, what would happen if we just go ahead and tune this like negative seven here's an example of how we're gonna pitch shift. it's got that effect I want but obviously it's not playing back in time so what we can do is go ahead let's go to sampling edit settings and now let's tune this down negative seven and we're gonna lock it in at the new BPM two bars stretch it up here's an example of how we're gonna pitch shift here's an example of how we're gonna pitch shift as you can see it's a very useful way to kind of get these kind of different effects going as well but you know pretty straightforward stuff it's not reinventing the wheel it just works very well one thing to note is that people call this offline time stretching. It's not like a bad term. It basically just means that when I time stretch, I have to hit stretch and then it will stretch the sample. Not like in Ableton Live or something, which would be real time, I guess, where you can adjust the tempo and you'll hear everything warping in real time. So what you have to do is kind of set your tempo, hit stretch. If it works, it doesn't. If it doesn't work, undo it. Here's an example you know of what maybe do duplicates of it here's 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 here's, here's, here's this way then you can go ahead and add different settings for each one here's an example of how we're gonna pitch here's and then this one we'll go ahead and turn it up do the format correction plus five stretch it here's an example of how we're gonna pitch shift. lots of different options have fun with it tweak around see what you like talk to you later Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.